Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but, well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though, rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think. I haven't heard from them in a while. Let's do this. How do you feel? Somebody can pick a weed whack in my fucking neck. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I uh, appreciate the hospitality. Say this in front of your friend. The fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily, he's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... Hey, look, we're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. You don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that pay our rent? <sighs> yeah, okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds for getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Never really had too much of a problem with that. Let's go ahead and get under encumbered. Wait, what? Thank you. And a small backpack that nobody cares about. Boom! I've had enough of your crap. Okay, so... These people are friends. That person is not a friend, but he does have a, a, a kind of a relationship meter on the bottom there underneath his health and stamina and uh, you get those maxed out and they become friends and once they're friends you can switch to those playable characters oof infestation already How'd you all end up at the church, anyways? Jeez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up... Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you? No. 
There used to be 12 of us. Oh my gosh, two infestations. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, he's gonna scoot around on his butt. Oh my gosh. Like, the game get buggier since I last played? I walk up these steps? Oh my gosh. Alright. In this? Hey, come here. is a horde going to want to be quiet as a mouse I got nothing left cannot alert that horde How am I encumbered again? Oh. Okay, so obviously that alarm clock I picked up is just too much. Can't radio home. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. I'm not actually going to bring it home. I'm going to carry it with me. Zed free here.
Oh my gosh. There's the horde up ahead. Hold right trigger and tap right bumper to drop the rucksack and run. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! Good sidelines up there. So what bothers me is you've got the barbed wire there on the fence that prevents you from climbing over those fences. Doesn't do crap to the infected though. Made it. Gonna look around now. That's not a normal zombie. Mm -hmm. I see some place worth a scavenging run. Those might be survivors. There we go. I see some place worth a scavenging run. Got a horde on the move. There we go. Hey, what's that? It's like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people. And it looks like no one's broken in. Huh, that's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. Uh, hang on, I've got a transmission coming in, I think. You folks got any room at the end? You might want to go check it out. Sure. I hope that's them. Assuming that I can get around all the uh, infestations <laughs> and hordes. I'm sending Alan and Sam to eat with the clinic. Alan. Gee, thanks. It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about keeping you and Ed out. Point 